This Death Valley Day Tour itinerary assumes you start in the ranch at Death Valley area. To get a quick overview and see some of the most spectacular sights in Death Valley, take the 18-mile drive south from Furnace Creek to Badwater on CA Highway 178. If you are staying at Stovepipe Wells, you can drive directly to Furnace Creek to begin. Along this short drive, you'll see strange salt formations, picturesque views and the lowest place in the Western Hemisphere. The best stops on the drive are 1. The Salt Flat, a few miles south of the Furnace Creek Junction, take a short side trip on West Side Road toward Dry Lake into the otherworldly landscape of the valley floor. Depending on recent rain patterns, you may find those beautiful web-like patterns you've seen in photos. 2. The Devil's Golf Course is nearby. It's called that because it's so rough that only Lucifer himself could try for par. To avoid destroying the delicate salt structures, tread lightly. 3. Badwater is the lowest place in the Western Hemisphere. The precise location of the lowest point, 292 feet below sea level, isn't marked, but a walk from the parking area leads past the salt-laden, bad-tasting watering holes that inspired its dire-sounding name. Across the valley, Telescope Peak towers 11,039 feet above, twice as tall as the Grand Canyon is deep. To get an idea of just how low this spot is, look for the sea level marker on the cliff above the parking area. 4. Artist Palette is a colorful rock formation, a landscape smudged with pastel colors. It's especially striking in the early morning or late afternoon. See it on the way back to the oasis at Death Valley by turning onto Artist Drive. To its side is a dry wash that's sometimes called Artus Canyon, named for a scene from the original Star Wars film where the plucky little droid moves through it while sounding like a scared little kid.